The Surface Laptop 3 is a very interesting device, without a doubt. There is a lot that separates these laptops from the rest of the competition, and there's definitely a lot to love here. But as always, with any product that differentiates itself from the competition, there might be some flaws to address as well. So with that said, introducing the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. Let's go ahead and dive right in. For more great content just like this, and just make sure to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Also, leave a like and a comment down below with all of your thoughts on this video. And while you're at it, I always leave affiliate links down below in the description as well. But make sure that you check out Lusterville so you can find the best deals on all of that tech that you're shopping for. It's a simple browser extension that helps you make the best purchasing decision. And lastly, don't forget to check out my merch store if you're into some monochrome clothing like everything I'm wearing right here. So with that said, links to everything down below. And by the way, as a side note, in preparation for the review of the Shure SM7B, I'm going to be recording the entire review of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 using this microphone. So that was just a side note. With that said, let's get straight into the review. And the exterior design consists of this magnesium alloy material. And yes, it is made out of metal, but it is still a lot lighter than a lot of other laptops. And I would venture to say that it is even lighter than the MacBook Air, the newest one for that matter. And honestly, in terms of looks, this machine looks beautiful in this blue color, and it does feel very solid too. As per usual, you will find this Alcantara material on the keyboard portion of this laptop, as you have been seeing on many Surface devices, for the exception of, of the Surface Book for a very long time. But in terms of its design, I have to call it almost perfect. On the right, you will find the magnetic charging port, and on the left, you will find a USB-A port, USB-C port, and a headphone jack. And this laptop features a 13-inch 2256 by 1504 resolution display that looks very beautiful for sure. It gets bright enough for most use cases, and the resolution is high enough that watching all sorts of content on it is very enjoyable. And because of the aspect ratio, you can expect some black bars since this is a 16 by 10 display that's better suited really for productivity. And that's really what it's meant for, for the most part. It is still going to be a great display for content consumption, and I don't really have any complaints about it. Though it's not maybe quite as colorful as I would like it to be, and that technically sounds like a complaint, but it's not really that big of a deal. And the keyboard is hands down one of my favorites in the industry. You get a good amount of travel on each key when you're typing, and that allows me to pick up speed very quickly. I think it's fantastic if you're like me and need to write a bunch of emails per day, or if you're just a writer in general. I haven't gone through any ultrabooks that have this good of a keyboard. And what makes this thing even better, in fact, is this Alcantara material that I mentioned earlier, because it, it's going to be incredibly soft and very nice to lay your hands on. So this is, without a doubt, the most comfortable keyboard to type on as well. No complaints here. This is seriously one of my favorites. And the trackpad is yet another great factor here. I love this giant trackpad as it's almost as big as a MacBook Airs and gives you a ton of room for scrolling and utilizing your gestures within Windows 10. And the surface itself, pun entirely intended, is very smooth and is comprised of glass. So using it is just a great experience. Also, I love the physical clicks here as well. I know that the MacBook Air has a simulation of the physical click that, that does still feel pretty satisfying, but to me, a, an actual physical click is just better. And now, the speakers are actually fairly decent. They do get reasonably loud, but because they fire from the bottom, they don't sound quite as good as they could. It's still fine for most cases, but having side-firing speakers instead maybe would have been a better choice since the sound wouldn't have to bounce from your desk or your legs or anything like that, so the speakers are really just okay here. The webcam is decent, but it was a clear compromise here. It's a 720p camera that doesn't do very well in low light and not even when there is a ton of light in the room with softboxes everywhere, so didn't do too well here either. And as for specs, this laptop features an Intel Core i5 1035G7 CPU, which is a quad-core module running at 1.2 gigahertz at its base. This is kind of disappointing, if I'm going to be completely honest, but it is at least a 10th generation CPU, so 
Hey, that is still a pretty cool thing, makes it seem pretty modern. It's going to feature integrated graphics instead of dedicated, though that is expected, and it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD storage, though you do have other configurations to look at where you get more or less storage, just depending on which one you end up going for. And now, with the specs I just mentioned, you can run games like League of Legends and Hearthstone, and simple games like those just fine on a laptop like this. However, when it comes to AAA titles, you should definitely look elsewhere because this simply isn't a machine capable of gaming at that degree. However, if you use something like Google Stadia, for instance, you can still have that experience of playing AAA games on your device. So honestly, if you have a great internet connection, this can still be a great option for you in terms of gaming, as long as you have a good internet connection, of course. That is going to be a requirement. Otherwise, AAA gaming is nigh impossible. And another thing is that Video editing on this machine will likely yield poor results for most people. I edit all of my videos in 4K, and while I can drop the resolution when editing so that it can run better, it can still run into a lot of hiccups because a quad-core CPU with this low of a clock speed simply isn't capable of too much, and it doesn't have a dedicated GPU to help out either. I used a DaVinci Resolve to edit, and I wasn't satisfied with the results to be completely honest, but that was to be expected. I simply ran the tests anyway, just to be sure. However, this laptop was never built to be this way. Just like the MacBook Air, this laptop is meant for people who need a reliable battery, a great screen, a sweet keyboard and trackpad combo, etc. So let's go ahead and talk about that battery life then. I can easily expect around nine to 10 hours if I'm doing light tasks, though this is just over a calculated period of time, not all at once. I obviously don't use this laptop for nine to 10 hours at a time to be completely sure. However, expect that to drop considerably if you're doing something more intensive like game streaming and things of the sort. However, battery life is still pretty awesome here and I haven't had any issues with it. As for complaints, I do in fact have a couple and I would like to share them with you here. I wish that this USB-C port was a Thunderbolt 3 port, which is something that it's still lacking to this day. This was a missed opportunity, and the webcam could use some improvements overall as well. It should be at least a 1080p module by today's standards. I do feel like it's lacking in terms of ports too, so an SD card slot or at least one more USB-C port would have been very useful here too. Also, I don't know for how long this material will stay fresh, but the Alcantara, we will just have to see how it holds up over time. I love the Surface Laptop 3. I think this is a beautiful device that is incredibly easy to travel with and is capable of a lot of tasks too. While it's not a total powerhouse, it's just not what it was built for. And I think that for the intended audience, which is going to be writers, students, etc., this will be more than an ideal option because it just offers so much. You get a ton of quality components here, such as an amazing keyboard, an amazing trackpad, an amazing screen, amazing portability, a great build. It's just a really good device overall. So if you are within that audience, uh, those people who are interested in the laptop just like that, maybe not so much for content creation, unless you're doing like Photoshop work or something like that, or graphic design work, then this laptop could actually be a great option for you. But if you're doing like video work, 3D work, anything like that, then you might want to look elsewhere. However, for the intended audience, I think you've got an amazing value right here. So I can strongly recommend it. And if you're interested in purchasing this laptop, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. And don't forget that there's also Luster as an option, which is a very great non-intrusive browser extension that helps you and make that search for a brand new laptop or any, any kind of laptop accessories. Like if you're looking for headphones to use with your laptop or anything like that, it's just going to show you uh, the top recommended options within any given website or any given category or anything like that. And it's going to compile a list and tell you what the most popular options are so that you can make the best decision when you're searching around and it even helps you find sales along the way. So if you use any of these, I think that you're going to be very happy. Links to Lust are going to be found below. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch as I do like to stream every Friday and Saturday from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time and I do like to go with a very smooth tone. It's usually, it's usually just a pretty chill time so I do encourage you to stop by and I would love to answer any questions that you might have. Also, do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because those are important too. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.